Yo, what's going on, guys? Gonna be showing you a 64% win rate Kha'Zix jungle build, and that is to rush down Dustblade into Collector into Prowlers. It has a lot of tempo, mainly because Dustblade is just overpowered, and then Collector's right there with it. Collector also gives you extra gold on champion takedowns, which is nice. It also helps you to get the Kira Securals because we're gonna be going E Leap uh, second in terms of evolution. So we're gonna go Q Evolution and into E Evolution, and you absolutely need people to die that way we can get our jumps so we can double jump around and carry the game if you're looking to play a more consistent Kha'Zix a safer type of Kha'Zix just go W evolution second instead for the AoE slow it's much easier to kind of play peel or, or play um, in a safer way but overall this is one of the better ways to carry on Kha'Zix at the moment we have first strike free boots futures with cosmic water absolute double AD on armor we're going to go ahead auto into Q and we're going to full clear. Kha'Zix has one of the weaker full clears in the game out of the meta junglers. He's considered to be one of the strongest junglers in the game widely on pretty much every region and pretty much every elo. The only jungler who can kind of outdo him in lower elo is Shivana. Shivana is kind of nuts in the butts. We're immediately going to W on hitting level two. We want to get that on cooldown. W is a big source of damage. It's more damage than an auto. It's also a heal, which is kind of nice. Auto into Q. We get huge isolation damage from our Q on any type of enemy whenever they're alone. With that being said, on Wolves, you pretty much have to wait for your, uh, a W rotation anyways to kill the small ones, so it's not a big deal. So here, for example, these guys are going to be toasted and roasted. One more auto will do it. We'll just whack it with the Q and we'll Eon over. The Raptors we can put, you can put an auto on each of them. The thing is they'll all die from the second W anyways. So it can actually just be better to not really touch them like you see there. We have two smite charges, so we'll just go ahead and smite this guy immediately. It's because we have Cosmic, so we got it up nice and early auto into Q. We'll hop over this wall here in a second. Getting full Q damage because this guy's obviously isolated. We'll use our W since it's up. Hop the wall. And we're chilling. You want to kill the big one first here. Big one does all the damage anyways. So we can actually take him faster by smiting it than necessarily smiting the medium one. But either way, you're going to get a pretty solid experience. So we finished around 320. Not bad for Kha'Zix. Go ahead and pop potion. I think this is warded. Hmm. <laughs> Get with the Q, auto W, auto Q. Feels bad for Singed. I'm um, up against Udyr. He has Hellblade, so it's probably 80 Udyr. Gotta watch out for that. We don't want to step into him. I have my cursor hovered behind me so I can move. Uh, this guy's in trouble. Auto into Q. He has a ghost though, we can't really chase him. Ghost is so broken now, man. It lasts for 15 seconds instead of 10. And that They don't even need to kill or assist. They can't get resets, but 15 seconds is such a freaking long time. When Riot made that change, man, they're crazy. Like think of a, a normal team fight. Normally team fights last uh, like kind of seven seconds to 15 seconds, really. I mean, long ones are around 15 seconds. So even if someone doesn't get a kill or assist, they pop ghosts, they have it the whole time. It makes it really hard to kill people who have it, like especially range champs. I, I don't mind skipping that. My bot line can have it auto QW. At this point, after our first clear, we don't have to use our E to get damage on our camps. We already have two points in Q. Now, I'll use it to get to my next camp, but since I, I was already on the Gromp and I hadn't used my E, using it at point blank range as like a lesser auto attack gonna take away from a potential gank or if the enemy jungler shows up the Udyr is kind of hard to fight although he is kind of slow and can't move you know any deal we'll just hop over the wall it's like an Amumu auto cute we have lots of gankable lanes I'd say I'd say every single one of our lanes is not too hard to do something with I'm not gonna smite this just because all the little ones are alive and we're waiting for a W rotation 
I'm gonna go to my crew. This is tough now. I really wanted to go Krug, but this guy's so low. I have a huge item advantage. Eon, Q in midair. Get him with the W. Smite the cannon. Let's get this pushed. He's not going to die from that. His shield was up to block damage. Udyr is in that side of his jungle, I think. <coughs> I should be able to get away. My E's about to be up. Cool. Auto Q, W. We only need to get roughly one auto on each of the small ones. And then second W rotation will kill. Auto in the Q, just like so. Our Q isolator right now is doing about 372. Rooter's about to come over here and see my sins. All right, this plant should be up. Oh, it's actually not, huh? Almost got the singe. Uder might have ruined that, actually. I think singe might have sat there and waited for to get dunked. We're gonna be hitting a pretty early level six. I'll kite the big one out. I'm kind of trying to conserve HP here. Yeah, no thanks. Not interested. Auto Q smite. There's my level six. We're chilling. Cool. Q evolution is doing about 350 right now. Non Q is doing 160. Q evolution does a little over twice the damage. That's way better scaling as well. we'll grab call fields, control ward, hop out of base. We have futures market and we're ahead, so we don't want to sit around in base. Uder's level five. He's going to be going to his next buff spawn. It's me here and him there. He's dead to Ezreal though. Nice try by, <coughs> by him. Probably take his red before he gets there. Or just wait for him. I'd rather just wait for him. So I'll take blue. And I'll be there. I can grab Scuttle along the way. I'll hop over the wall. Auto QW. Your passive only applies if the enemies haven't seen you. So if you can keep going in and out of a bush, it can really help you out a lot. If the enemies that haven't seen me, my next auto against them will slow and damage them. And then I lose my unseen threat since then at that point they have seen me. And the W, auto Q. We'll Q in midair for fun. It's good practice to Q in midair as well. So it can save you time and set up double jumps when you, when you have E evolution second. You're not really allowed to go E evolution too early because then you miss out on all your Q damage. So just keep that in mind. Drop W on this guy, auto Q. He's out of mana. I need a bugger off here. It's a decent Nautilus hook. I'm just so out of mana. W, E, Q, R, flash, Q. All right, I got to bugger off because the singe. Go for Ezreal, not for me. Oh, Q around the wall, auto. I'm dead. Ezreal gets it though, so it's fine. I would have liked to keep the pressure on Udyr. Once you're ahead playing jungle, especially on aggressive jungle like Kha'Zix is so easy. You pr pretty much just pass straight to the enemy spawning buff, or if you see them on one side of the jungle, you go to the opposite side and kill them when they head over. But uh, getting that lead can be the more tricky part. And on Kha'Zix, it's as simple as you hit six without dying. And with Q evolution, you can pretty much solo anybody. Like that's kind of just the secret sauce. Now when Kha'Zix is not meta, when he's not very strong at a certain point in time in League of Legends, then that, does, that doesn't necessarily work. That doesn't, it's not viable, but since Kha'Zix is so strong in the meta right now, that's all you have to do, really. You don't even have to have a successful gank pre-6, although it certainly helps. Auto QW, let's pull this back. I, I need to get this dragon, that's what I need. No, he's dead, I'll grab Harold real quick. I have E to get out, so no risk. Low risk. 
I have to pull this way, 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 way out. Pantheon's got a lot of bursts, so does AD Udyr. I can see why a Udyr decided not to go AP. This team would have been really AP heavy. Cool. I'm going to go for Dragon out. Auto Q auto. Jump him in there, get him with Q. Gets the kill on team out. I can't really go for drag now. I'm on the wrong side of the map, so it's up to them if they want it or not. My bot line's pretty big, so they might be able to stop them. Yep. Uder so far behind, man. Playing 80 Uder from behind is not very good. And got it. Cool. Hold on to my E. Uder's dead. Might actually be able to get mid turret here. We're snowballing. Futures market free boots, first strike, lots of free gold stuff pouring in for us. We need Yasuo to hit the turret though. Yeah, we're not even gonna get the turret off Harold now because Yasuo decided to tickle pickles. Get him with a W, auto into Q. It was isolate. All Yasuo had to do was hit him there. We <laughs> nearly died from that. She's about to walk into me. Auto Q auto. Q auto. Alright, down he goes. I still have my R charge. I could burn this here to get to her. It's my auto Q. Alright, we're chilling. I'll just go around this way. I was going to jump through this thing. I can Q him over the wall. QW. Q him in midair. Down he goes. That was an EQ midair. You can't W in midair, but you can W then E. And your E travels just as fast as your W. So you and your W will get there at the same time. It's like this. You can W, E, Q. And just kind of hit him with all your abilities at once. Your R is mostly just an auto reset. You do it to get your unseen threat back. It's an auto reset, repositioning tool, speed up. Uh, yeah. Very good for that. To where we can auto QR, auto QR, auto Q. Dragon is up. You should have taken that. It's something that you're really looking for in Kha'Zix. The only champion who can kind of take dragons as fast as Kha'Zix in the game is Shivana. At, at level 6 Kha'Zix, I'm referring to Q Evolution Kha'Zix. We're going E Evolution next, which is greedy, but ultimately a higher carry potential than uh, W Evolution second. Go as we'll go, believe. Alright, she didn't want it. They're drowning a bit right now. Kind of need to reset, spend my gold. She's not even a full item here. She does have stopwatch though. Zillion's an annoying champion for Kha'Zix to deal with. He can R whoever I, I go for. She's waiting to cancel my back with a turd. All right, it's time for collector. I'm gonna buy a little portion of Prowlers as well. I gotta stay alive. That way I don't throw my shutdown. Pantheon on our bot side. They're tanky enough and mobile enough. They're definitely gonna get some shutdowns here. Yeah, Ezreal's dead. Singe is just, Singe has as much gold spent. <laughs> Ezreal's Trinity, Singe has uh, demonic tier twos, Ezreal's tier twos. Very similarly fed, even though Ezra has way more kills at the time and more CS. Kha'Zix's crit animation looks so cool. Just serrated knives things, just slices them. I think he's trying to cut a piece of bread is what it looks like. Auto into QW. Q's doing about 880. 
We get the speed up. We got blue jungle line. Finish 15 minute mark. Level 10 is pretty early. I wonder if I'm on a ward. Must have been. What does he think he's gonna do? In with a Q, use the bush speed up, auto in the Q. Oh, I didn't get the kill, got the assist. Almost level 11 for E evolution, that'd be nice. Let's get the bush speed up. Zillion sped her up though. We'll take this instead. Getting an extra 25 gold on every champion takedown, so kill or assist from collector. Let's go E evolution second for the increased jump range and jump resets instead of W evolution second. W evolution second, once again, is much safer. But carry potential is not quite the same. I don't want to chase Singed. I just don't. Got him. Got bush speed up. Q auto. Ugh. Got it. Thank goodness for that crit, man. That crit kind of saved me, I think. I have the bush speed up. And I have the long jump. I'm out of there. I'll sacrifice Nautilus. He doesn't have shutdown. He's only a 300 gold. Little turd. That's it. I was trying to think of a word that started with G. A 300 gold. Gary. Yeah, that's the one. Timo's bot. If I were them, I'd go kill Timo right now. I need one more cute. Oh, Zaya, you, you fool. Let's use the bushes to get to or through blue jungle item. That's why it's the best one on the Kha'Zix. Unless the enemy team has something like a Fiddlesticks or an Annie, then you can go for green, but... I have no clue where this chick went. It kind of annoys me. Whew, there she is. Yasuo's just gonna let her go. You're not getting away from me, I don't think. Hey friend. <laughs> we'll dump you. Oh wow. Q auto. She can't even hit me there. My, I need to get the auto from my hunting threat for the slow auto into Q. Get another jump reset. I'll go over this wall. W E. Oh, Raptors weren't there. The Kha'Zix really isn't that balanced right now. Of course, fed Kha'Zix strong, but uh, most fed champions have far less carry potential than this when they're ahead. Get him, Teemo. He hurts. It's kind of coming for me, too. Hey, friend. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get me. I'll just press R. Singe Fling has a long animation. Even if he tries to start, if we go invisible, he can't really quite get us. I am very, very low on health. As long as I was here. She's gonna probably hit me. Yeah, that hurt. I'll just go for drag. This is safer. Meow. W into it. Auto Q. Big bug Kha'Zix, man. Yeah, if you're behind, definitely don't go E evolution second. It's a very bad idea. She's got to step in that mushroom, eh? Maybe not. It's going the long way around for this red buff. You can't have it now. Auto into Q. Boom. Drop the W. We've only got 300 gold from first strike. This is more of a scaling keystone, to be honest. It's very good against kind of tanks. Because it's percent based damage. So it's, it's like... First Strike's kind of like the one you'd use to kill Squishies. Auto Q, W. No, First Strike's like kind of like the one you kill use to kill Bruisers and Tanks, but Dark Harvest is the one you use to kill Squishies, kind of. 
auto cute. Ah, uh, no thanks. Yeah, that was uh, tempting, but no thank you. If I didn't have E Evolution there, I might die because he has uh, Swifties. So even if we slowed him, the slow may not have been substantial enough. Get him with the Q, down he goes. Dude, I'm getting singed poisoned. It feels bad. I want to stay on the map. Pantheon's a little scary. So squishy. Get with the QE. Smite, QEW. Or Q auto W. <laughs> There's no more E. Whoa, I almost just died, man. Random zillion bomb in the bush. Thank goodness he's not fed. That would have been tragic. I want a Baron, but man, I cannot tank Baron right now. I need Nautilus to tank. Whoever's tanking does half damage to Baron anyways. Like the direct person who's tanking the Baron's real autos. All right, cool. We got Prowlers. We're full build. This is the full core. Everything after this is situational. I would say Cleaver just to keep us alive. With that being said, Sorrels would be amazing. Sorrels, percent based penetration. Sorrels or Lord Doms would be great for killing Udyr and Singed. Uh, I'm more concerned about having a little bit of health to survive the burst from the Singed Fling and the Pantheon jump. That's why I would decide to go for Cleaver instead. I have a lot of pe pe flat penetration at least to kill Squishies. We have triple lethality after all. Hey, friend. Human midair, auto W. I'm out of there. That was wild, man. The Udyr damage. Jeez. I might actually need that Sorrels after all. I'll go lower Doms. Because the Singe, Singe is going to have so much health, man. It's going to keep getting tankier. Swords or Lord Doms is fine here. At least we didn't die. That would have been bad. I'm on wards. This guy's going to go for my wave. That was insane, actually. How many wards does this guy have? I don't think he even used that plant for himself. I think he used that just to hit me away. Let's push this wave since we're over here. Wanted to heal back since R's on cooldown. It's off. It's only 40 seconds. My goodness. And they quit. That's all they had in them. Huh. Fun game, man. Let's look at the graphs. Damage all damage taken, runes. Looking at damage all damage champions, we're behind Teemo at number two. Feels bad. Hard to beat the Teemo mushroom spam. Damage taken. We took the most on our team. A little surprised by that. Just how little Nautilus took in terms of damage. Because we weren't even building tank. Self-mitigated. We were still number two on our team. Pretty happy with that. And runes high value. All in all, Kha'Zix is still one of the best junglers in the game, if not the best jungler. If you guys enjoyed this Kha'Zix video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.